so let us start uh, the economy prelims 2020 questions analysis and uh, simultaneously we will also see the questions which are there from the uh, course of uh, economy prelims of the diademy right so we are running a course on economy and uh, there are various direct questions from that course so let us see and uh, we will see quickly the various type of questions and as i have already told you the various techniques to solve the mcq elimination technique intelligent guessing looking for the extreme uh, statement applying the common sense and identifying which question to leave we will apply these technique in each question and we will see how to uh, you know get out the answer so i will uh, request your participation and uh, i will request that you please uh, participate so first this question this question is about the global financial crisis right this question is the conceptual question where you you have to uh, basically understand and interlink each and every statement so now it is time for you to read the question and reply your answer in the chat box and you should reply in person to me and then we will discuss it quickly right so if you see this question if another global financial crisis happens in the near future which of the following actions or are most likely to give some immunity to india that means how we can save the indian economy from the global financial crisis right so global financial crisis ko solve karne mein kya approach zyada effective rahega ye hame janna hai theek hai dekhiye iske andar the first statement is not depending upon short term foreign borrowing short term foreign borrowing for example external commercial borrowing right so if you are dependent upon short term foreign borrowing then in the case of global financial crisis they can go back to their country and uh, they, they 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 will demand the repayment and that will be difficult for the economy for for us right so definitely the statement one is correct statement one is correct statement two opening up to more financial bank foreign bank if you open up more foreign bank then it will be exposing the indian economy to global uh, exposure right because these foreign banks they will be uh, shifting the money to india in the prosperity but in the crisis time they will take away the money from india so opening the foreign bank in india is not going to help much and last maintaining the full capital account convertibility so this question is very very conceptual and you have to know what is the meaning of full account capital account convertibility the meaning of full capital account convertibility is simply that there is no restriction there is complete freedom with respect to the uh, foreign direct investment or any kind of transaction between india and other countries right so right now we have a upper limit over the uh, fdi that can be made into indian companies but after the full capital account convertibility there will be no restriction so in such a case the risk increases because in the uh, in the in case of global financial crisis the parent companies the foreign companies they will uh, the foreign investors they will take the money away from india and they will go back to their own country with the money so the statement 2 and the statement 3 are incorrect this question you cannot solve without conceptual understanding there is no shortcut to this question right so one is accurate so if you are sure that one is accurate then uh, you can eliminate three right and 2 uh, and 3 are inaccurate so answer is a so there is no shortcut here you have to read every, each and every question in very uh, you know conceptual manner and then only you can drive an answer now i will uh, upload this document and you can access this the detailed explanation but right now please solve this question so this is what i call as application oriented question you have to understand the concept and you have to know the application also right so this is 
the question about money supply and uh, here basically if you did the question if you withdraw rupees 1 lakh in cash from your demand deposit account so you, the balance in the demand deposit account is reduced at your bank the immediate effect on the aggregate money supply in the economy will be right so you are withdrawing the cash so cash is increasing cash aapka increase ho raha hai aur demand deposit jo bank account hai wo aapka kam ho raha hai but if we see the supply in the economy economy ke andar jo hai economy ke andar to supply change nahi ho rahi hai economy ke andar to supply change nahi ho rahi hai 1 lakh rupees cash aa gaya hai like there is a reduction in the demand deposit and there is increase in the cash so both of these are part of the aggregate money supply both of these the cash and the balance in the demand deposit account both of them are part of the aggregate money supply so overall if one thing is decreasing another is increasing so overall there is no impact on the aggregate money supply in the economy so answer is option d answer is option d right aap isko conceptually bhi samajh sakte hain I, we have given the conceptual explanation also but if you just see the common sense aap isme common sense apply karte hain ki ye jo transaction hai iska impact kuch bhi nahi hoga right and we have given this uh, uh, you know economic in in our uh, static crux notes ye hamare jo crux notes hain usme kafi acche se detail mein diya hua hai hum logo ne theek hai ki reserve money kya hoti hai narrow money kya hoti hai intermediate money kya hoti hai aur आपका यहाँ पर ब्रॉड मनी क्या होती है तो अगर आप इसको कॉन्सेप्चुअली समझ सकते हैं अगेन यू कैन नॉट सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट बाय रीडिंग दिस यू नो दिस शॉर्ट नोट्स राइट दिस कैन हेल्प यू इन द रिवीजन पार्ट बट दिस कैन नॉट हेल्प यू इन द कॉन्सेप्चुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गो बैक टू सम बेसिक सोर्स राइट सो हमने इसको करेक्ट नोट्स में दिया हुआ था नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस प्लीज टेक योर टाइम so this is what i call as definition based question isko jo maine aapko bataya tha definition based question hai ye simple direct question hai gold trench reserve trench iska matlab hota hai ye imf jo apne members ko ek credit facility provide karta hai usko hum gold trench bolte hain theek hai to ye humne class ppt mein cover kiya tha when we read the concept of foreign exchange reserves the foreign exchange reserve includes this reserve trench with the imf so i have discussed this concept in very much detail in my classes reserve trench with the imf or when you will go through this chapter you will see i have already discussed this and reserve trench with the imf this is the detailed discussion about it so this question is definition based and this is very very simple if you if you just go through the chapter of external sector and the concept of foreign exchange reserve what are the components of foreign exchange reserve then it is very very simple to solve this question right so no concept nothing only awareness or only awareness will be sufficient now this is the next question please take some time now this question is again based upon the current affairs and this question is again one of the simple questions right if you are aware about the frbm developments Wait, because it is in news last year it was in news because the finance minister in the budget itself they announced the the escape clause so at that time frbm act was in news so you should read those things in detail which are in news and you can easily solve this question the answer is option d we had already given this uh, in our test series also so you can see statement number 1 here April 2020 current affairs test the statement one is clearly mentioning this state uh, this statement similarly we had also given in our current affairs crux notes so here you can see frbm we have discussed in detail because it was in current affairs nothing is special about it okay now next question is this this is the question on the chemical fertilizer right so this is a, an example of the questions coming from economy and uh, a mix of environment and the basic agriculture concept right but here we can see how to apply the concept of economy and how try solving the questions based upon that right 
So please take your time and solve this. So uh, if you see the answer to this question, most of you don't know, not a problem. But if you read the statement one, with reference to chemical fertilizer in India, consider the following statement, right? So at present, retail prices of chemical fertilizers is market driven and not administered by the government. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. The fertilizer prices are administered by the government. The government is providing the subsidy. So it is not market driven. If you are aware about the fertilizer subsidy, then automatically you will be sure that this statement is incorrect. If this statement is incorrect, then automatically you can eliminate option option uh, D and option A, right? This is eliminated. Now you are left with option B and option C. Now option B is two and three both and option C is two only, right? So now let us read ammonia, which is an input of urea is produced from natural gas. So is it right or wrong? That it is right. Then statement three, sulfur, which is a raw material for uh, phosphoric acid fertilizer is byproduct of oil refineries. This is also correct. So this is uh, basically the question of basic agriculture and uh, some of the, you can say science, science and technology. But uh, if you can eliminate, if, like, if you are aware about the one statement, statement number one, then you can eliminate two statement. This is the point that I want to tell you, right? And after that, you can apply your other concept. So if you are aware about the economic concept in the agriculture, that also helps you eliminate multiple statement. This is the point that I wanted to highlight through this question, right? So the answer to this question is option B. Now, this is the next question. This question is, uh, you know, difficult question, I will say, but still you should try and solve this question. This question is uh, one of the difficult question. And uh, in case you come across this question, I will recommend, please leave this question. So I told you in the discussion that don't take the question on your ego. Question ko ego pe nahi lena hai. Agar aapko aware, agar aap aware nahi ho, to aap question ko chhod sakte ho. You can leave the question. But still, I will try to solve this question, right? We will try to solve this question. The first statement is black gram can be cultivated as both Kharif and Rabi crop. Okay. Suppose I'm not aware about it. I'm assuming that I'm not aware about this statement, but I just read this statement. Okay. Second statement is green gram alone accounts for nearly half of the pulse production. Now, this is something which is, which you, you know, which seems to be very, very extreme. So I told you that there are some extreme statement which you have to take care. Green gram alone accounts. So this word alone, right? Na? So ye, jab, jase aapko lage ki alone word a gaya, so you know, aapke kaan khade ho jane chahiye. There is something wrong there, okay? For nearly half of the pulse production, so there are so many crops, right? There are so many crops. Kya green gram mein aise kya baat ho gai bhai ki yehi sab se yaad hai production kar raha hai, thik hai? So there is some problem with this statement. So if I eliminate statement two, if I eliminate statement two, then I am left with only option A. Are you getting? Agar main, if I go with the basic common sense, ya ek, uh, uh, extreme statement uh, mein identify karta hon, to mein is statement ko eliminate kar sakta hon. Now, again, I am not 100% confident that this is accurate. That is why I will also go to statement number three. And I will read this statement. Okay. So one thing is, even without reading statement three, I am trying to solve and I am reaching out to option A, right? Now I try to solve the uh, question based upon reading of statement three also. So statement three says, in the last three decades, while the production of curry pulses has increased, the production of Rabi pulses has decreased. Okay. So basically, uh, again, now, if you see, there are many uh, pulse production programs going on, right? And the pulse production, uh, pulse production programs or where the government is actually providing the support to various uh, pulse crops, 
the natural outcome should be to increase the crop rather than decrease the crop are you getting production should increase rather than decreasing so it looks little weird why the production of rabi pulses will be decreasing but the kharif the production of kharif crop will be increasing it looks little weird that is why i can i can also eliminate statement number 3 right statement number 3 bhi eliminate hum kar sakte hain वैसे भी अगर हम स्टेटमेंट थ्री भी स्टेटमेंट थ्री भी अगर हम लोग नहीं हम क्लियरली कर पा रहे हैं लेकिन हम स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू को ही हम कॉन्फिडेंटली कर पा रहे हैं देन आंसर वी कैन ड्राइव इट टू ए ठीक है आंसर हम लोग ए पहुंच सकते हैं ठीक है एनी एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट अगेन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन एंड दिस इज अंसेप्ट क्वेश्चन ओके सो लेट एस रीड दिस क्वेश्चन In India, which of the following can be considered as public investment in the agriculture? Now, what is the meaning of public investment? Public investment means something which increases the productivity, which increases the production capacity of any economy of any economy. ठीक है तो public investment का मतलब होता है कि जिस जिस चीज से आपका productivity बढ़ सकती है अब public investment कैसे बढ़ सकता है पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट कैसे बढ़ सकता है या तो मशीन लगाते हैं हम लोग ठीक है या तो मशीन लगाते हैं हम लोग या हम ह्यूमन रिसोर्स को डेवलप करते हैं ठीक है या हम कोई टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट करते हैं कोई हम नई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटी डेवलप करते हैं मींस दे शुड बी सम इंक्रीज इन द प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सपेंसिस ओनली वी कैन से पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट तो पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट इज अ कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर If you are aware about uh, the public finance, in the public finance there are two type of expenditure: revenue expenditure and uh, capital expenditure. So this is the type of the capital expenditure. So look this from that perspective, right? If you are from that perspective, say, see. Okay. And now let us see first statement: fixing MSP for agricultural produce of all the crop. So fixing MSP will in, will ensure a minimum price. minimum sale price it will not ensure the public investment because the farmer may buy the uh, you know farmer may sell the produce at some price but it is not a guarantee that the farmer will invest into the agriculture are you getting so statement 1 is inaccurate statement 1 jo hai aapka galat hai aur agar aapka statement 1 galat ho jata hai theek hai agar statement 1 aapka galat ho jata hai then It is very easy to eliminate the wrong options. ठीक है देखिए जहां पर भी आपके मल्टीपल स्टेटमेंट होते हैं और मल्टीपल ऑप्शन होते हैं वहां पर क्वेश्चन बहुत आसान हो जाता है और जहां पर देर आर ओनली टू स्टेटमेंट एंड ओनली यू नो ओनली वन ओनली टू नाइदर वन नोट टू बोत वन वन टू दैट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम बट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच इज वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन most of the time you can solve this type of question with the help of elimination technique right so how do you solve this question uh, statement 1 if it is wrong then you can see a b and d all of these three can be eliminated theek hai so now you are left with only statement number c statement number c ke sath mein aap that is only option that now you should try to validate whether option c is accurate theek hai now quickly read 2 3 6 and are they uh, matching the public investment uh, concept so statement 2 computerization of primary agricultural credit society primary agriculture credit society ka computerization so if there is computerization that is a investment because that will increase the productivity right so statement 2 is correct then statement 3 social capital development that means human resource networking right then Point number six: Setting up of cold loan, cold storage facility by the government. Cold storage facility? Yes, it is an investment. So option C is hundred percent accurate. ठीक है? Now let us see कि option uh, four and five: Free electricity supply of farmer. Free electricity supply will not ensure public investment. It is a subsidy. It is a revenue expenditure. It is not a capital expenditure. ठीक है? Waiver of agricultural loan by the banking system. Again. this is not uh, any investment this is a waiver this is a revenue expenditure this is a kind of subsidy only this is a kind of subsidy only right 
so just look at the look these things from the perspective of revenue expenditure and uh, capital expenditure then you can solve this type of question or if you are not aware about that those things just think whether these things are going to increase the productivity or not and if you are able to eliminate uh, statement number 1 then you can easily arrive at the answer right so the point i want to tell you don't be scared with the big questions the bigger the question the easier is the answer the more are, more are the chances that you will get some technique to eliminate the option okay to aapke liye ye question aapke liye aasan ho jata hai theek hai are you enjoying the session everyone are you enjoying it that is why i say ki economy is very very enjoyable hai na it gives lot of pleasure if you are really applying the concept what is interest coverage ratio is very simple uh suppose uh dadam is a company and uh, it has taken a loan right and the loan is rupees 100 and on the 100 rupees it is supposed to pay 10 rupees of interest right so 10 rupees is the interest obligation now we will see the the bank when it is given the loan to the company it will check whether the company can repay the loan uh, can can repay the loan's interest or not and for that it will check the profitability of the company so if the profit is good then it can give the loan to the company otherwise not right so how it will check it will check if interest is 10 rupees how many times the profit is so if interest is 10 rupees and say uh, profit is 50 rupees then that means the interest coverage ratio is 5 times right and if say uh, interest is 10 theek hai to suppose the interest obligation is 10 rupees and profit is 50 rupees so interest coverage ratio will be 5 times suppose interest is 10 rupees and profit is 30 rupees so interest coverage ratio will be 3 times are you getting so now tell me from the bank's perspective if bank want to give the loan if bank want to give the loan suppose this is company a and this is company b so which company will be preferred by the bank in which company the risk will be less are you getting my question the answer is the risk will be less in the company a so higher the interest coverage ratio the less is the risk higher the interest coverage ratio less is the risk right so see if you see from the uh, from your perspective i will say this is a very difficult question i am a chartered accountant and in our chartered accountant uh, uh, we have a subject called uh, financial management and there we calculate all these things but for the prelims economy this is very difficult question you can leave this type of question again this type of question are to be left as i told you there are certain question that are to be left so this type of question you can leave but again if 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 i want to really teach you this then what is the importance of term interest coverage ratio number one it helps in understanding the present risk of a firm that a bank is going to give a loan yes it help it will help to calculate the risk of the firm theek hai to agar uh, uh, interest agar profit zyada hai to risk kam hai agar profit kam hai to risk zyada hai it helps in evaluating the emerging risk yes also definitely kya aane wala risk hai usko bhi hum calculate kar sakte hain because we can calculate how much profit the company is going to make in the future and how much is the interest obligation right then third is higher the borrowing firms level of interest coverage ratio worse is the ability to service is that this is wrong this is incorrect as we have seen as we have seen this is incorrect ye aapka incorrect hai right to isiliye hum isko option 
one and two is the correct answer, right? Option one and two is the correct answer. Now this is a very conceptual question. Please uh, take some time. So answer is uh, option D only, right? So how the prices of rice can be impacted? MSP, yes, MSP can directly impact. Okay, government trading. That means uh, export or import. So that will increase the price or they can decrease the price. Then uh, consumer uh, governments stockpiling. Yes, it can. And then consumer subsidies. If the government is giving the subsidy to the consumer, then it can also impact, right? So, just like PDS can the right PDS can the subsidy will be okay. Stockpiling FCI karti hai trading, uh, you know, based upon the requirement, the government can trade and MSP also. So, all of these four things are actually impacting the rice, okay. Rice ka jo practice hai, price hai wo impact hota hai, and uh, you know. Here in this type of question, you should apply the concept of inflation. Okay, because here the question is about price, uh, price of the rice. Okay, so price effect. आपका किन किन चीजों से हो सकता है उसके लिए आप inflation का concept use कीजिए. That is why I will say apply the concept as we as I told you in the chapter of agriculture. Apply the concept of capital expenditure versus revenue expenditure. The concept of capital expenditure revenue expenditure is from the uh, uh, chapter of public finance, but you are applying that concept in the agriculture question. Similarly, in this question of MSP, uh, sorry, in this question of rice price, you are applying the concept of the inflation. So, you see that if stockpiling se inflation can increase, can increase, subsidy can increase, can increase, can increase, and then you will see that what is happening in the recent past. Mein. This is another thing that you have to keep in mind. Okay, not just uh, that it it happens or not, but also that what is happening in the recent past. Mein ho नहीं हो रहा है आपको ये भी साथ में सिमल्टेनियसली ध्यान रखना है ठीक है सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी आई कैन से दिस इज वन ऑफ द सिंपलेस्ट क्वेश्चन बट अगेन यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर माइंड एंड देयर इज नो बुक और देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन बैंक वेयर यू विल फाइंड दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओनली आफ्टर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ योर माइंड ठीक है विद द प्रॉपर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ माइंड यू कैन सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन let us read this question statement 1 the value of the indo sri lanka trade has consistently increased in the last decade now this type of statement consistently increased this type of statement you should be alert okay so if there is a statement the tax collection in india have consistently consistently increased in the last decade right pura 10 saal ki baat kar rahe hain theek hai aur there is a question uh, that uh, direct tax has been more than indirect tax in last decade consistently or there is a statement uh, you know these statement have already been there in the previous year upsc question one statement was that fiscal deficit in india has been steadily increasing in india during the last decade this type of statement mostly they are wrong okay because you know consistent increase means there is very very consistent uh, pattern but in economy it is really a trend that anyone will increase consistently because in economy there are always fluctuations ups and downs so it is very very rare that for 10 years consistently there will be some increase okay so uh, this statement one seems to be wrong even if you are not aware about it but you know it's, it seems to be wrong so if we eliminate option uh, if we eliminate uh, the options based upon this statement one then we we can see okay now we are left with option b and option c now let us read the question statement number two textile and textile articles constitute an important item of trade between india and bangladesh so if you are aware that bangladesh is one of the largest producer of the textile item the, the production of cotton is very good so uh, definitely the chances are that this statement will be correct so statement two should be correct that means the chances are that this statement will be correct but still we cannot decide the answer now we will go to the statement number three in the last five years nepal has been the largest trading partner of india in south asia so if you see in the south asia there are various countries we have nepal bhutan even bangladesh is there pakistan is there okay but you know nepal being the largest trading partner it seems to be a little bit strange if you see 
we are having good trade with the bangladesh right trade with the nepal is not that much good so you know if we if we can uh, understand these three statement from a common sense point of view then we can eliminate statement number 3 also or if we are confident about statement number 2 then we can solve that okay the answer is option b even if we are not confident about option 3 even if we are not confident about uh, statement number 3 but still we can we can take some risk and we can apply uh, apply the common sense and we can try and give the answer as option b okay is it clear